Guess what? We've created 1 million volt generator recently. Today we are going to show you some awesome things we can do with this voltage. And some experiments of course. We've managed to get some super high voltage. The voltage from the electric system is connected to the transformer. And that's why we can adjust power from 0 to 240 volts. Then, nextly, the current goes to the electric transformer for the halogen lamps. It is a frequency converter. There are just 50 Hz in the electric system, but when the current passes through the frequency converter, it is 12 volts and 3000 Hz. And this is just what the flyback transformer needs. It increases the voltage from 12 up to 7000 volts. Then, this alternating current gets into the tube through the wires. And inside of it are the multipliers. UN927 There are lots of them, 17, if I'm not mistaken. Right. They're connected in series, one by one. So the current increases drastically. To isolate all the multipliers, probably, we put them into spindle oil. So that's why we can hear some cracking sounds right now. It's cracking so hard because it gets really electrified. The spindle oil provides the proper isolation for all of the multipliers. And as a result, we get a pretty high voltage there. Because there are no energy leaks of the multipliers to keep the whole construction working stably. And to prevent it from burning itself with a high voltage, we have grounded each detail of the generator through the electric system's ground wire with this black wire. So we really shouldn't pull the plug out. Otherwise, everything will then burn. Let's have a look at our discharger. We are going to use a watermelon. If it falls down, we are going to be dead then. Especially the carpet. It wouldn't be nice to get an oil like too. This dangerous machine turns on with a gentle move of the handle right here. We are going to rise the voltage gradually to the maximum and get it right into the watermelon. Okay, it is less entertaining than I expected. Let's test an apple. This sounds better. So I've got that the capacity of a watermelon isn't efficient, and I've decided to connect Nikita. Being exposed to this voltage, he is going to find the resonance with it and accumulate much more electricity. So let's show them a hat trick. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that shocks me. Let's try it this way. Does it move? It's 80. Hundred and sixty. It didn't fly. Power zone. It flew away. <laughs> so, поехали, said Gagarin. <laughs> what? Did it shock you? Yeah. Let's connect. I'm increasing the power right now. Tell me something. It moves right away. Do you see that? Are you ready? Yes. It just flew away. <laughs> So, let's try one more time. Sure. I'm turning it off. Where did it shock you? Right here. Through the wire? Exactly. Then we should isolate it better. And they all made a flip. Let's put them on the head. Awesome! And all of them upset again. Are we starting? Okay. That shocks me. It's shrinking. Oh my god, look. How do you think I can see that? It hits my head. I've turned it off too early. Let's do it again. What's wrong with that thing? What the? It got tangled in your hair! <laughs> Moving it aside a little. So let's turn it on. What's happening to it? Don't know for sure. I can feel the electric wind. Some of them don't fly. Use a mob to help them. Do they rise? 
Not really. Don't you move any closer. One is going nuts. Do you hear them beating? It's getting recharged. I see what's wrong now. So what? They all have sharp angles. That one is crazy. Turning it off. Let's make all them balls. We're trying to charge up a bottle. There are some lighting. They hit the bottle. The lighting just come in the bottle. Ouch! And I've got all my clothes stuck to my skin. It got burned. Did it? Grab! I don't know what happened, it just lost its power quickly. What happened? And we ran out of transistors, we have to buy some more now. In the following videos, we are going to electrolyze some liquids. I'm sure you'll be impressed with the result, don't miss it.